What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend and matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, water, earth and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough! And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow.
All right, hello everybody, and welcome to a brand new playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I am intending to play Horizon Forbidden West as well if I really enjoy this game. I know that recently came out, so I want to play Zero Dawn first um, because this game was highly recommended to me. Um, so hopefully we're going to enjoy this. I understand it's um, a medium length game. Um, so this will be one of the longer playthroughs on our channel. I think it's around 30 to 40 hours of gameplay, so um, we have a lot to get into. This seems like a really interesting blend of like robots and Neolithic. Um, that was not anything I was expecting. I'm going to be honest, I, didn't, I know next to nothing about this game. I knew it had robots in it, um, and I knew it, it was like an RPG where you can fight robots. That's about all I know. Um, I'm so far really liking the graphics, um, and uh, yeah, let's see where this goes. I'm going to go ahead and configure some settings, and I'll be right back so we can jump into a new game. Alright, we're back. Let's go ahead and jump into a new game. Uh, difficulty, uh, when I approach a new game, I always like to just choose normal difficulty. This is what the game was intended to be played at. Um, I like a good challenge, so I, I tend not to go for easy. Um, and uh, I reserve hard, very hard, and ultra for maybe my second playthrough if I really enjoy a game and I want to play it again. So we're going to go normal. This must be Aloy. 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 I'm guessing we're going to play as Aloy. Must be a brother or a close friend. Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. Never mind, we're still an outcast. I thought we were living happily with these people. Here we begin. We're playing as Alloy, or Aloy, I should say, uh, who fell into a cave. Rost seems to be our father figure, but we're calling him Rost, so I suppose he's not our father. The priestess said we were entrusted to care for her. And something's wrong with this child. All right. Looks tight. She looks pretty adventurous. Looks tight, but she can get through. Press C to toggle crouch. All right. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. So it makes me wonder if this is a like post-apocalyptic world where humanity has regressed back to, you know, the Stone Age. But these machines still exist from like a an advanced society before. A relic of the machine age. Ross said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. Yeah, well Ross was saying by choice. 
we unfortunately are stuck here and have no other way but forward. Alright, I'm not sure how much exploration there is to do in this game, if there's like books or small things to find, so I'm gonna try and do my best to explore. For example, how do I get into this building? This room? There might not be a way in, but it certainly looks very beautiful in there. Um, looks like we could go left or right. Okay, no, there's nothing over here. So we're just gonna go straight forward. Okay, this dungeon seems pretty linear. Okay, I like that. It'll be hard to get lost in this game. <laughs> For those of you who watch some of my other playthroughs, you'll know that tends to be tends to be an issue of mine, getting lost, disoriented. There's something up ahead. Maybe a giant robot? Okay, just want to peer into these rooms, see what's over there. What's that? A dead person. Oh my gosh, yes, really. A dead person just lying there in the ray of sun There's sunlight. There's something shiny there. Inspect the strange device. Some kind of technological brain implant? What did we just put on? Toggle focus by pressing V. Oh, sorry, that's C. What does focus do? Besides put up this... Oh, I see, it gives us information. So like bunker door, power status off, blast door heavily shielded, seal integrity maintained. Okay, so this gives us information when we hover over things. Um, is that all this focus does? Okay. Find a way out. Well, I'm guessing we go through the blast door, but I want to know what all this stuff that lit up was when we put the brain plant in. This is something that doesn't actually physically exist in the world because it wasn't lit up before we put the, the chip on our head. Some kind of artifact. A metal door. Closed. Maybe this device I found can help. Okay. How do I get it open? Last door, activate the focus by pressing V. A shape. It's connected to the door somehow. Oh, so this lets me see like electronics. So we can see through the wall. We can see this power cable running to a box behind this wall and there's a generator there. Hollow lock, electromagnetic security mechanism with standard holographic UI. Okay, so I need to get into that building adjacent. I bet you this door right here will let us get access to the hollow lock. This is cool with everything glowing. 
It's a shame we can't like access any of these computer terminals, but I guess we're just a little girl. Like what do we know about computers coming from our particular you know, situation. Turn hollow lock counterclockwise, turn hollow lock clockwise. Changed color. Okay, we solved some kind of puzzle. I didn't even realize there was a puzzle to be solved, but all right, we did it. Let's go ahead and head back. If I hold shift, can we sprint? We can. So if I press shift, we go from running to jogging. Color too. All right. I wonder what Ross is going to have to say when we come back with this crazy chip thing on our head. Hopefully he'll be supportive and hopefully he'll know what the heck it is. Okay. This game is very good about guiding us exactly where to go. I like that. Do you think there's going to be another... I wonder if there's going to be another cutscene and we're going to grow up into a young woman or if we're going to play the whole game as a kid. This body has another device just like the one I found. Okay. Last time we pressed E, I think, to inspect the body. Activate the focus with V and scan the data point by hovering the reticule over it. Okay. Want it this way? It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Interesting. So, by scanning these bodies, we can... maybe activate some of their memories from when they were alive or uh, maybe this is like uh, in Soma that's a, another playthrough we recently did um, where characters had a black box like implanted into their brain that stored like some of their last memories before they died um, see V squeeze through the gap E squeeze through the gap all right, there we go. Find a way out. Well, this is obviously the way out, but that makes me wonder what's over here then. If the, go if the game is gonna point me in one direction, I definitely wanna go the other direction. It's always the less obvious route, right? Press E to play the data point. I saw them lining up in the community room. Like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Shauna handing out meds, like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased. Well, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. I want a period at the end of my life sentence, not an ellipsis. Hell, <laughs> an exclamation mark. So if that upsets whoever finds this, too bad. I don't know anyone, anything, anymore. Wow. Okay, he offed himself. Seems like something happened to these humans. Something happened to these humans to cause them all to die. And a lot of them decided to just end it 
quietly by killing themselves with medications. Um, I wonder if this was some kind of, you know, robotic apocalypse? Was, were the robots the ones that killed everyone from this, you know, futuristic society? Or were the robots just a side product of the society? I guess we will find out. All right. You see another body here. Data corruption severe. I mean, seriously? Record our thoughts for posterity? Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go. All right, so it seems like this was a project that they, that they, some of them consented to. Recording their, their thoughts for posterity. So Why they would they be remembered. Why did they die here? What happened to them? Um, well, let's check out all these bodies and see what we can learn from them. And Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. I never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? <laughs> Stupid. Okay, she wishes she went to Machu Picchu. This body is so far gone, there's nothing to learn from that one. What about this one? a very dark song. Okay, um, and then there's another body on the other side of this. Log Ella Pontes. And maybe that's all I need, you know. That moment the door opened and you were standing there wearing that retro wave dress and the way you smile. I had to look away or you were gonna see it. On my face, what had just blossomed inside me, you know. <laughs> it was just an instant, but I knew. I knew we'd be forever. This has got to be a lot for a little girl to take in. So these people are all um, on their deathbeds waiting to die from whatever medication they had taken to end their suffering. Um, I just want to make sure we got all the bodies. Um, I mean, seriously. Okay, we got that one. Great idea, Director okay, so the like bodies I go dark once we've already seen them, so already. that helps us. Okay. Like Great, we've got them all. All right. Interesting. So people, some people record their thoughts, um, and we can read them after they're dead. This is good. Ah, oh, Ross, that is a he found me. the great voice. Ross found here. me. We're coming. Down here. I'm coming. Oh, Mother, be praised. 
Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. The metal world. Oh, he's not going to be happy to that find that. On your face. Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! Even when Ross well, looks upset, he looks happy. If you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Sounds like tutorial time. Oh, no. Starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. He's a very patient father. to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. Ross doesn't seem to trust the metal world. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now. You're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Okay, they look like pink long stalks. Good. Now eat the berries. Press Q to transfer health from your medicine pouch to your health pool. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mothers embrace. And right. The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines. The Nora tribe. Okay, that priestess was a Nora Further priestess. down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. We're going to start dangerous? by learning how to hunt machines? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Why don't we start with like a rabbit or something? Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. Okay. There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen closely and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Okay. The little velociraptors are called watchers. Follow me across the trail to that tall grass. I wonder why the robots look like dinosaurs. Oh, another one. Let it pass. Where's the other one? Oh. Come back this way. Okay, the we're following you, move, you, Ross. The quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. Good. 
That's the last of them. Let's move on. All right. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Okay, the stealth symbol right under our compass shows how visible we are. Okay, we're very visible, no matter whether we're crouching or not. Who's that? Who's that? Ignore him. It's like Aloy can read my mind. Why is he up there? Smiling at us. Deb! Get back where you belong! Deb! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Ah. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. He seems friendly. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. Why are we outcasts? Gather Ridgewood. What is that good for? There. See, I them? see more medicine. These are called striders. Striders. Ha! Get! They look like horses. Why'd you chase them off? <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Okay, now, we've got a rock. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. We're on it. Picking up Those rocks. Those will do. Follow. We were born for this. Okay, we've got four rocks. I don't know how many we want. He says those will do, but I feel like I want at least five. Okay. We've got more medicine. Okay, we lost Ross. Lost Ross. Ross, we're fun. We're coming. I can't hear what you're saying, hey, Ross. Over here. Where? Aloy, come now. Oh, you're hiding behind the tree. Sorry, you told us to pick up rocks. Aloy, over here. We're coming! There's the herd. Alright, it's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them. Draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the Watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Okay, we're waiting for his signal. Hold F to aim the distraction rock. Throw a rock near me. Release F to throw the rock. Halo, throw a rock near me. So if they hear rock, they want to go towards it. That's not the instinct I would have. Wow, you downed that thing real quick. There. Come, girl, it's safe now. We're coming. What was the point of killing that poor innocent machine? Or are the machines really not so innocent? Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Okay, so this is what we make arrows from. Hold E to search the watcher. So we get metal and wire. Harvest the kill, Aloy. Good. Now I see you've already gathered stocks of Ridgewood. Use the stocks as arrow shafts, and metal shards for arrowheads. 
Hold tab to open the weapon wheel. Select arrow by using tab and press and hold left mouse button. Okay, I have Good. 20 arrows. You'll never in my run pack. out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. I just need metal shards Let's and put those wood. arrows to use. Follow. Okay. We're stalking, we're crouching. We're going into the tall grass. You taught us well. The grass and be it's time to make your first kill, Aloy. Strider, one of the weaker machines, but even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. Yeah, the Striders are like the horses. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? The neck. Hostile machine. Body. Tag the target. Identify the, str the strider's weak points. Okay. The cat is still on its back. Is that a weakness? The ships? How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Okay, right click. Hold left click while aiming the bow to draw the bow. At full draw, your bow is a lot more accurate. So, okay, so we're gonna aim for the eye. Release. Aloy, take aim and make. Keep firing! Hit! Keep firing! We need some melee options here. Press left control. I didn't get that. Oh my gosh. Press left control while moving to dodge in that direction to avoid damage. Again! Canister. Blinded, Aloy! All right, we took some damage, so we're gonna press Q to restore health from our medicine bag. Oh wow, that took almost all of our medicine. I don't think we, we handled that fight very well. Okay, we're gonna take the metal shards. We're gonna take blaze. I don't know what that does. I'm guessing it's some kind of fire thing. You did well wire. today, but you have much to learn. Yeah, we Tomorrow, do. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick. Hold up, I need to collect my medicine. Fine. Press left shift to sprint. <laughs> Ross, you're a little too fast for us. We've got tiny little legs. I think it's crazy that we can destroy machines with a bow and arrow. Oh no! He needs me down there to catch him. At least we gotta protect him from all the striders. I thought he said these guys were easy to startle. I can do nothing. It's only a matter of time before the machines find that boy and kick him to death. No, we have to save him. Shoot. They'll 
cause a stampede and it will trample him. What does our machine tell us? The path they take. Stop telling stories. I'm not. I can sneak through. You will not. Ross, you just took our bow. <sighs> Again, Ross is a very patient guy. Though, shouldn't he be like running after us to protect us? Press V to enter the focus mode. When the watcher is scanned, press G to tag its control path. G, highlight path. Okay. Sneak to the wounded body. I don't see the wounded body. There the wounded body is. Okay, so we can see his path. Okay, so we gotta... We need to move slowly so I can sneak past them. Okay, we're gonna sneak into this long grass. See. Okay. Why can't I track, track this guy's path? I need the watcher here. G highlight path. Alright. What about this guy? Okay. I think we should be good to go and sneak into this grass over here. Got to be careful. He didn't see anything. We're okay. Okay, we're going to highlight this guy's track. Okay. So I think he's around to come around this way, so I'm gonna wait until after he comes around to cross the water. I feel like crossing the water is gonna be a bad idea though. We might draw unnecessary attention to ourselves. I need to see their paths. I see their paths. Almost there. Oh, we got these guys figured out. Okay. Great. We made it into the long grass. There he is. Okay, hold on. We gotta wait for this guy. Come on, buddy, turn around. We probably could have gone. He's not facing our direction, but I know when he turns around, he will be facing our direction. Okay, maybe he's just gonna stay there. Okay, and off we go. Hey! What? How, how is this? Shh. Follow me. Good thing those watchers can't hear very well. Lead the boy to safety. Okay, into the tall grass. Okay, how do I know to avoid them? Oh, just watch and learn. We're just a pro. We're a tracking pro.
Okay. Well, he's turned around. Let's go. How are you doing this? Let's call it feminine intuition. Okay, we're gonna wait for him to turn around. And then we're gonna make it into that tall grass over there. I have rocks. I wish I remembered how to throw them. It was like G or F or something. I don't think we need rocks for this situation. How is this possible? Teb, shut up. We're trying to be stealthy. Oh, Ross is gonna be mad. Ross, you should have listened to us. Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. Oh, here comes the, the tribe. I, I just want to... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts both. And she is motherless. Come now! Back to Mother's heart. Hopefully we'll get to see him again. That boy should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. Why is Ross such a rule we'll follower? We'll go home now. We're outcasts. Follow. Who needs to follow rule if you're already an outcast? I know the way. Aloy is not happy. Who the hell's throwing rocks at a little girl? Stay away, no mother. <sighs> oh. Flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. How Aloy expresses her personality is up to you. Choose the fist and Aloy will confront the challenge directly. Choose Brain, and Aloy will use her insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. Cho I didn't get that. Okay, we're going to choose Heart. Okay, we're going to teach Aloy to be a good girl. Lead by example. Stop! Thank you, girl. Maybe we should have held our ground. Let me have a look. There are times to hold your ground. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before. That's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It will be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves, but to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proven. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. Uh. 
training montage. became truly badass. before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. All right, I think this is a great stopping point. Um, this was a little bit of a longer episode, but I wanted to get fully acquainted with the game. And uh, I feel like that whole first chunk of game was a prologue. A lot of it felt like watching a movie, lots of cutscenes. But I think we finally made it to the main part of the game, and uh, I'm definitely hooked. Um, I think we're going to give this game uh, a good sh uh, good shot. Um, we probably will play it all the way through unless we're really not vibing with this game, but I, I can't see that happening at this point. Um, it seems like pretty fun. The graphics are great. Uh, the writing and the voice acting is decent. Um, and uh, we're all grown up now. We're not going to play the whole game as a little girl, just like I thought. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and um, yeah, hopefully this series will turn out to be a, uh, a great thing. And if we really like this game, we can go ahead and move on to Forbidden West. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.